Being of Native and English ancestry, I'm always trying to do what I can to learn about myself by learning about others. The History Museum <laughs> would feature historical artworks, you know, by painters who are dead or things that are a hundred years or more in the past. But we know now that, you know, history is what happens every day. And so contemporary art is, for me, a really profound way of capturing and sharing the current views that multiple generations of people have on their history, on the history of the city, on the history of the state and the nation. What I'm working on is I'm going to put patchwork design pieces up here at the corners and the portrait of my mom and my granddaughter. I was actually born on one of the small islands out in the middle of the Everglades, you know, similar to the painting there. And my first five years, I just lived on a river in a complete paradise. This is actually the first year that we're collaborating um, officially with Atatagi Museum. Atatagi has always, since its inception, been an advocate for seminal history, seminal culture, and seminal artists. Just now, um, with their new director, Gordon Oliver Wareham, they're beginning to really take an active role in being that advocate for contemporary seminal art. The history of the Seminole tribal people in Fort Lauderdale, this is, was one of our main places of living, surviving. And so having our story here and having a great place of history for Lauderdale collaborating with us to tell our stories is great. I think it just shows that once again, that that is very important for our communities to know each other. It's been a really good exercise in bringing people together, in learning about you know, each other's cultures, even giving the artists themselves that motivation to want to create their best work is also a really important aspect and has been, I think, really good for the art community in general and specifically the Seminole art community. Our knowledge is passed down from one generation to the other generations through our art, through our language. It's what makes it alive. And so that way of expressing ourselves ever came to the end, you know, that would be the end of the Seminoles. So it is important to pass those traditions through our art, through our language, through our stories, to those generations so we stay alive as a people. This is a Native American flute, a Western style. A lot of the songs I play are uh, life experience. They're, you know, I have stories to every song that I play. And so um, they will have sounds of people uh, I love. And I would try to put that within my music, having their voice. So you, you're here, you're almost like hearing people speak. Today is really our very first day of starting the installation. There's multiple rooms. So there's the room that we're sitting in now, and then there's also two other rooms that will be installed with Seminole and Mikisuki artwork. The types of artwork are just as unique and varied as the artists themselves. I work with uh, acrylics, uh, oil paints, and I do pencil, pen, and ink. As creative people, we look to our creativity and our past to survive today and hopefully to plant some seeds for our future generations to carry on. I never went to art school myself, so I want people to understand, you know, where it came from and what it means and that it's important. The work behind me is by an artist named Leroy Osceola. He's a wood carver, also a painter and a mixed media artist, and his themes are very strongly related to his work as a traditional culture bearer within his community. The other one is of one of my grandfathers, great-great-grandfather, and he's got the soldiers in his eyes as a reflection. And the title is I Will Not Run. And, and that one's titled America See It Like a Native, but I did that because uh, I see a lot of Native people in our country that's been put on reservations and their lives taken away from them. And, they have to learn how to live a new life, so that's what the chain represents and who's doing it. 
I'm hoping they see what I see through my eyes and not just judge anything from the surface. So that's what I hope for. Our pride is very strong and has always been. And I hope this is what, you know, our visitors will see. Our culture is alive. We're proud of our culture, we're proud of our heritage. And, and I want that for the public to know that we are still here, that, you know, we are thriving in this, this modern day. You know, we get to share our stories and we're still here. But we're still living our traditional lives. I hope that people will walk away with an added value and respect for the persistence, resistance, and continuance of Indigenous culture here in South Florida.